everyone, I'm Chris, the Aquarius Traveller. Make sure you subscribe for your worldwide travel content and inspiration. How's it going everyone? Well, we are about, uh, we're heading outside of Brisbane right now and about uh, an hour or so we get to a place called Sunset Dam and we're camping out there for the next couple of nights and it's the first chance we've been able to camp since COVID started. So, uh, I'm uploading once a week at the moment, so please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any more of my future videos. If you like this video, please also give me a thumbs up. Before you get into Somerset, you might come past a small town called Kilcoy. It's about 10 minutes away from the campsite and a great place to stock up on supplies like petrol, gas or food. As you drive up the road into the park, you'll come to a burn gate which requires a key code. This key code is specific to your vehicle only and will drop the gate to let you in. The caravan park is set out on a point with a lake view on both sides. So we have just arrived and now it's time to set up at our campsite. I'll give you a look around. Look out for heaps of ducks wandering around the grounds. Most people will end their night sitting by the fire and relaxing having a few drinks. Morning starts at first light for some people, as we are surrounded by the lake, water activities are normally on the cards or having that first cup of coffee while watching the views. So it's the morning now and everybody is out and about on their boats this morning. So uh, there's a, a massive lake here and there's a lot of jet skis, a lot of people with their boats going out fishing or just going out on the water today. So, But it is coming into winter so it is a little bit chilly, hence why I've got the, the jumper on. I did get a little bit cold last night but um, I was out fairly late trying to get some astrophotography. Um, hopefully I, I haven't seen what I've actually got out of that uh, yet but uh, let's see when I get into Lightroom when I get home. So there's a person uh, just out behind me uh, skiing. There's another couple of jet skis coming down, but I'll show you some footage from there. So even though it is a, a campsite here, people are pretty much relaxing, having breakfast right now. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. The lake is really large. So even in a boat, you probably won't experience the whole lot over one weekend. Some of the activities you can do are kayaking around the point or amongst the trees that live in the water. Jet skiing as well, where you can do a number of flips, turns, 360 spins, and generally having fun. You can also jet ski while towing another flotation advance. Did you see him fall off?
There are many boats in the water for getting around, fishing, or also towing another skier. Others will run around and set up crab pots to fish for these little guys. And then don't forget the paddle boarding. Last but not least, there is a small mini golf area around that you can use too. Most people will take their whole family or a group of friends and set up for the day along the water's edge. The park offers many different options for tents, swags, caravans, along with powered or non-powered sites. We actually had a shared ensuite with our water view site this weekend. For all those without their own accommodation, you can also try cabins, villas, or these awesome looking safari tents. So we are all packed up and ready to go. The weather's turned a little grim at the moment. It's not too cold, but there's still a few people out jet skiing and stuff, uh, trying to finish off the weekend before they have to go home as well. Um, a lot of people stayed in this park this weekend, so uh, a lot of them are trying to exit all at once. And uh, so we're taking off now and heading back to Brisbane. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, preview of uh, Somerset Dam or the camping area. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below.